hello lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well welcome back if you are returning welcome if you are new my name is claire i run this channel this is the open roads and theatre seats channel where i talk about my two favorite things traveling and theatre oh succinct not bad pat on the back um as you will see from the title of this video today, we are going to be discussing the 2023 UK tour of Mamma Mia. Massive programme. So if you want to know my thoughts and feelings on this show, then stick around and we will get into it in two seconds. back in the bedroom we are having a break from the london stuff obviously if you saw my last theatre video which i think actually was my last video maybe um i was in london recently i have another review still to come but this show mamma mia uk tour um is currently in wolverhampton in its first venue on the entire tour very exciting that this classic of a modern theatre show is starting its run in the Midlands and it's in the Walls Grand for another week before it moves on to Pasha's New and I just wanted to be able to tell you all about my thoughts sooner rather than later so if you are either in Wolverhampton and want to watch it next week then you know what how I feel and at the same time if you are thinking mm, shall I go and see it whilst it's touring then you can watch this video when it's been around for a while that kind of thing so let's get into it like i said it is a modern classic it's been in london now for over 20 years and it's a show that everybody knows whether you've seen the theater version before or you've seen the film version which i think is where most of the people in my audience had seen it previously um then you know you're in for a treat you know the story you don't need to learn too much before going in everyone knows at least one abba song everyone knows the story of this show pretty much and yeah you are transported to greece for a great night of theater and nobody can complain so the audience in my performance were on form there was a little bit of singing in the second act i'm gonna let it slide because it's friday night everyone was quite jolly we're gonna we're gonna blame the alcohol um but the show itself was chef's kiss it was brilliant to see the show again i have never actually seen it in london only on tour but this tour cast and this version of the tour just has something special about it so without further ado let's get into it and let's talk about the cast because let's be honest it's the bit you all want to know about so in this show let's start off with who we should always mention the ensemble they are a great cast of people they are so hard working there's a lot of moving around of um set pieces the set itself is quite simple it's basically one piece that turns into two pieces that can turn back into one piece it makes no sense and i know why that it doesn't um but a lot of things need to be carried on and off and they're done spectacularly by the ensemble and also some stage management crew and they just look like they're having so much fun up there i mean who can't have fun just singing to abba every evening and also they just they just were so excellent my mum who i took to go and see this show um was an extreme fan of the flipper choreography so congratulations on that um and yeah they were so brilliant to watch and um definitely will be keeping my eye out for many of that ensemble cast when they come back and do something different 
principle wise let's start with the first person you see on the stage which is Sophie. Sophie is played by Jess Micklemore, hope I'm saying her name correctly. Um, her voice was absolutely gorgeous. The moment she started singing in the beginning I was like mm, yes I'm happy plus she's a curly haired girl and I am too and there's not enough of us on stage. I mean, I'm not on stage, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, she was so beautiful to listen to. She had such chemistry with everyone on the stage. And I was just, I just really enjoyed watching her performance. And also her chemistry alongside her Sky, who is played by Christopher Foley. And although the show has only properly been running for a week, it is so interesting to see how quickly they have built their chemistry and how well they work together. Um, and yeah, it was really just a joy to watch both of them do their thing as the young couple in love. Speaking of couples kind of in love, there's no real segue here. Let's get on to the dads. <laughs> as that came out of my mouth, I realised what I'd said. But let's talk about <laughs> the men in Sophie's life other than Sky. We have Harry, Sam and Bill. What a great trio they have picked for this run. Uh, so to name them, Harry is played by Neil Craig, Bill is played by Phil Corbett and Sam is played by Richard Standing. And they just worked so brilliantly together and separately. They all have their moments with Donna and their work with each other during that is fantastic <laughs> and separately they just work really well i do have to say for the fact that he doesn't know he's a dad or possibly a dad i feel like there's no spoilers here but the fact he doesn't know the situation neil craig who is harry I got the dad dancing right like pop it like tip top it was brilliant speaking of Neil I really enjoyed him and Donna played by Sarah Poyser who I'll get on to later on um I loved their rendition of our last summer it was just a little bit of fun um and just looked so just just looked so nice up there I really enjoyed watching them same with Richard as Sam, my brain cannot deal with this. I've had a car ride today and I really just want to be lying down in a bed. <laughs> but we have to film this video. Um, but Richard, who plays Sam, is also brilliant to watch. Um, obviously, we know how the show ends, um, but it's nice watching the journey between Sam and Donna throughout the show. Finally, I think my favourite dad in this production is Bill who is played by Phil. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, <laughs> it just rhymes, but it's funny. Um, um, the main reason he is my favorite dad is thus. Uh, act two, towards the end, his work with Nikki Swift as Rosie. Yes, that's all I'm gonna say, if you wanna know what I mean then you need to go and watch the show yourself but I howled and bearing in mind I have seen this show before I know what's going to happen there was something about it this time around I was just like I howled it was so funny <laughs> and it was just brilliant like thinking about it now I'm still having a little giggle in my head it's just brilliant speaking of Nikki let's get into the three icons that are Donna and the Dynamos otherwise known as Donna, Rosie and Tanya otherwise otherwise known as Sarah Poyser, Nikki Swift and Sarah Earnshaw they were my queens my dancing queens if you will I just loved them as a trio loved them individually when they had their moments to shine they were just the perfect pick just so excellent. Sarah was a joy to watch as Donna. Um, I was aware previously that she has been in multiple different 
iterations of the show she has been on the west end she has been on other tours and to see her give her performance as donna was just amazing her voice is so powerful her act everything about her performance as donna is just incredible to the point i kind of want and my mum or like an adoptive mum <laughs> um but yeah it was just lovely to watch and especially her relationship with her daughter Sophie played by Jess was just really really nice to a point that during slipping through my fingers which has never previously got me before I had a little tear in my eye I was just so loving watching that that song and that performance between the two actors it was just absolutely brilliant and going back to the curly hair thing and not really to do with Sarah or with Jess but obviously if you've watched the film you know that, that in the film she's brushing her hair and sorting out everything else and obviously as I previously mentioned Jess has curly hair and I don't know if this is like a thing when the Sophie has curly hair but instead of brushing it because spoiler alert it's not a spoiler but if you've never had curly hair then you will not know if you brush curly hair it goes to the size of an egg a really big egg like it's massive um so instead of brushing it which someone behind me was like ah oh, she didn't brush her hair i wanted to turn around i didn't um they just she just like curled it around her finger i was like huh oh, curly hair maintenance loved it um but yeah, going back to the cast, curly hair aside, um, yeah, it was just really nice to see that song done that way. And I don't know if it's how my situation has changed over the years since I last saw that show. Um, but it was just such a lovely scene to watch that it almost, it just made me tear up. It was just lovely. As previously mentioned, Nikki, who is Rosie was an absolute joy to watch especially in the previously mentioned scene um but yeah just everything about her from her jumping over the bed like the the second or third time on stage just I loved it and the same with Tanya who is played by Sarah Earnshaw they just looked like they had, were having the best fun up there and I have no doubt that they do it was just like the trio of friends you want to be part of and to have seen previously Sarah doing more I was gonna say straight acting but not really seeing her in different roles previously it was lovely to see her in this new role and she did it brilliantly very much liked does your mother know and her dancing brilliant you may have realized that I haven't really mentioned the creative side and because I tend to do both um it's mainly because um it's obviously the director of the full show in London is kind of the directors of the tour although there is a resident director that tours with the show but obviously the lighting is designed to be the same as is the set I believe and the costumes <laughs> The costumes I do feel kind of dated because obviously they're 20 years old now and nobody wears some of the items worn although the way fashion is that's kind of not the case I feel like most of the hen party outfits would be worn by the young people of today <laughs> of which I'm not I'm sitting here in a cardigan so I basically wanted to talk more about the cast because that is the thing that changes from production to production so yeah basically that is all I wish to say on the matter it is definitely a 100% recommendation to go and watch this show whilst it's on tour it is touring up and down for quite a while in fact I'm going to look it up so I get to tell you the information bear with I know I should have done this before bear with Okay, so according to the website, its final UK 
place is Scarborough, the open air theatre, between the 14th and the 18th of June. However, to name where this tour is going, because I did not believe, I did not understand. We have got Wolverhampton, where it currently is, followed by the Opera House in Manchester, the New Theatre in Cardiff, the Winter Gardens in Blackpool, Leeds Grand Theatre, New Theatre Peterborough, the Alexia Concert Hall in Tallinn, Estonia. Hello. Um, King's Theatre Portsmouth, Hall for Cornwall, Truro, Scarborough Open Air Theatre, Scarborough, obviously, and then Bergen, Helsinki, Denmark. That is a great tour. And if they need anyone, anyone to go to Norway, Finland and Denmark, I, I am free. I am free. I'm astounded. So that is pretty much it. What a great show. What a great, great cast. 100% recommend grabbing yourself a ticket. It is just a brilliant watch. And yeah, there we go. Pretty much that is all I need to say. So I'm going to leave you here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will talk to you about some more theatre next time, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. I love you all lots. And I shall see you all next time. Bye everyone.